Most coasters start from a stationary position and are then lifted up a slope by a chain lift. So what that means is you pretty much know what you're getting up to and have time to prepare yourself for the eventual drop. Things are a little bit different with the Gravity Max though. The platform you end up on basically tilts forward until it angles the coaster and its occupants at a 90 degree angle before dropping the coaster into a free fall down a long tunnel in a single loop and a couple of bank turns. So the coaster itself isn't really that impressive. The only super scary moment is at tilt at the start, which is pretty damn terrifying either way. Alrighty, we're doing this. We're here on Gravity Max at Leap House. Number 9. The Wicked Twister is a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling freely beneath you instead of being in a completely enclosed coaster car. So not only is the Wicked Twister a dangler, it's supposedly the tallest and fastest dangling coaster in the world. It's not long like some of the coasters we've got on this list, but it is pretty terrifying. Powered by electromagnetics that send pulses of energy into the coaster, it flings riders up a long twisting spike, which then allows them to fall back down again and then go back up a second spike backwards. So yeah, expect to pee your pants. All of a sudden it's just like boom and you're just off. You go up and you're like, whoa, what just happened? What just happened is linear induction. A long chain of electromagnets laid along the track fire energy in rapid succession, pulling and pushing the coaster down the rails, quickly building speed with every push-pull combination. Number 8. The Ultra Twister is a coaster from Spa Land in Nagashima, Japan, and if you ride it, be prepared to get dizzy. This coaster goes backwards and forwards through a chain of never-ending spins. The ride moves at a total of 44 miles per hour and only lasts around a minute and 20 seconds. But in that time, riders are flung through three complete inversions, two of which are experienced backwards after a 90 degree vertical climb and an 86 degree drop. So to put that into basic terms, you're gonna get really dizzy really quickly. Number 7. The Slingshot is another Cedar Point ride. Opened in 2014, the Slingshot is less coaster and more, well, a gigantic slingshot. Two riders are tied into a chair that has two elastic cables attached to it. And those elastic cables are actually attached to 72 meter tall spikes. When the riders are properly strapped in the capsule, it's launched up to 110 meters in the air at around 62 miles an hour. And you basically bounce up and down until it comes to a stop. This ride is literally two pieces of string attached to two really tall towers and a ball for people to sit in. And it's pretty freaking sweet. Now if you didn't know, I absolutely hate any sort of ride, whether it be a roller coaster or just a slingshot thing like what we have here. All of you are absolutely insane for wanting to go on roller coasters. It's like you're asking for death. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to ride on roller coasters or if you hate them like me. I mean, they are so terrifying. Who'd want to go on one? Number 6. The Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas is home to one of the scariest rides in existence. It opened up in 2005 and sits at 270 meters above the pavement. I mean, riders are literally dangled out in the open stratosphere above the freaking pavement off the side of a building and then spun around. What's crazy is that in 2005, a group were left dangling for nearly an hour and a half while the ride had a fall. Imagine that, just hanging in there above Las Vegas waiting for the ride to get fixed. I mean, I guess at least the view would be nice. <laughs> 